What's up everyone? Welcome back to the final episode of the Let's Build from Grand Theft Auto 5, the Yellow Jack Inn. And yes, we are on the final episode. We are finally going to get this thing done and wrapped up so that we can continue to our next Grand Theft Auto house. So let's go ahead and get into it. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, first we're going to we're going to go ahead and knock out uh, one of the banners that we need to create. We need to get the American flag right here. So I'm going to show you guys how you want to make this American flag. So first of all, um, if you've ever seen my videos before, you want to go into your settings and you want to make sure that classic crafting is checked. And we're going to go ahead and get out a crafting table for this. Um, crafting table. I always forget that it's like gray and blue. I'm not used to like the survival aspect of this texture pack. But you want to get the crafting table and some things we're going to need is from the decorations tab we are going to need the red banner and then we are going to need um, some bone mill and we're also going to need some lapis lazuli. So I just got a stack just to work with right there. So first of all uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the bone mill and this is how you want to place the bone mill top left corner top right corner and below both of those corners and then you just want to get the red banner and you can really place it anywhere and that will create this design where you got these uh you got the stripes going down it like that now to finish off the american flag we're not going to be able to put the stars on it but we are going to kind of make it look like the american flag the best we can uh so what we're going to do is we're going to get some lapis lazuli and we're going to place it in the top right corner like that. And then the American flag, you can really place you can place it anywhere. And you got yourself a nice American flag right there like that. And where we're going to put this is right up here. Or not there, right up here like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get some green carpet. And uh, we're just going to kind of take this up, take take this over the best we can like that so uh, that completes this wall all right next we're going to create the pool table so for the pool table first of all there's some essential items that we're going to want to get in your inventory we want first we want to get a hopper we want to get red wool red carpet a sign and brown banner so as far as the placement goes, what we're going to do is, you can see this brown place, this is actually where the pool sticks are supposed to be. We're going to come over one block from there, and then we are going to come out one, two, three blocks, and we're going to place our first hopper there. And we're actually going to skip one and place another hopper here, and then we're going to skip over one, two, three, four, five, and place our next set of hoppers in those corners. Then what we're going to do is we're just going to make this a rectangle with the red wool like this but what we're going to do is we're going to cut open the middle of it like this um, probably not necessarily that long like something like that and what we're going to do is we're going to place down some signs right here right here right here so they're all parallel like that and then what we're going to do is we're just going to place some um, red carpet over the top and you're going to see what this is actually going to do. If I can get it to place right, I might need to crouch. Yeah, I need to crouch. And you can see it's going to create this cool effect. And it, uh, I'm just going to take the carpet up around. And you can see it actually looks like there's a pool stick laying on the uh, table that makes it actually look more like a pool table. Now, you're probably wondering like why it's not green, as most pool tables are green. And, well, the pool table in this game so happens to actually be a shade of red. So that's why we've used red wool for this example. And I think that pool, step is a, pool stick idea is a really cool idea for pool tables on Minecraft. And then what we want to do is we're just going to go around and we're going to place the, br the uh, brown banner like this. When you get to the corners on the hoppers, you're going to want to crouch to place those. Well, we're just going to surround it with the brown banners like this, and it just kind of creates that uh, brown outside that goes around the uh, pool table. So that right there is, in fact, our finished pool table. Now let's, uh, let's make the dining tables that you would sit at and eat. 
For the dining tables, we are going to need iron bars, light gray carpet, string, and acacia wood stairs. So, first of all, we're going to come right over here. And we're just going to place some iron bars uh, like that. And I'm just going to skip. And um, did I make these four long? Something tells me I did. Or maybe maybe it, maybe it was three long. Kind of having a brain fart right now. I think it actually was three long. But we're going to get the light gray carpet. And we're going to take it across the top like this. And then I'm going to place some string down here. And uh, place the carpet on top. So we got ourselves a nice table there. And I'm going to place a stair here. A stair here. A stair here. And a stair here. And I'm going to have this face in this way. Because I think that the stair actually is facing the opposite direction it's supposed to be on the game. And then we're going to put our second table over here. Uh, right where this uh, transition of green and brown ends. We're going to put place our iron bars like this. And again, we're going to make it a, a total of three light gray wool on top on top over here as well and then we're going to place our string down and the carpet and then we're just going to uh, make our stairs like this just a uh, normal so there is our dining tables all right now we're going to place some carpet down uh, we're just uh, going to need some brown carpet pretty simple and we're going to start our carpet right here. This is going to be too wide. And we are just going to take this carpet down until it just gets right there. So that that's a nice rug carpet design right there. And then we're going to take the brown carpet and we're going to come over here and we're going to place it down like this. And then we're going to skip over here and we're just going to take the brown carpet down to there like that. Now let's go ahead and fill in the ceiling since we haven't done that yet. For the ceiling block, the, the ceiling block is actually going to, the ceiling's going to be different for different parts of the uh, building. It's going to be different here and it's going to be different here. But we're going to start with this area where all the, where the pool table is and everything. And we're going to need some black hardened clay for this. And uh, let me drink some swiftness. And basically uh, this wood is a good, um, like divider so pretty much this point on fill this in with the black stained clay and that will be our ceiling okay for the ceiling in this area we are going to use the light gray hardened clay block and uh, it's a uh, pretty uh, straightforward from this area on we are just going to fill it in with the light gray hardened clay so go ahead and do that now let's uh place the appropriate lighting for this interior now what we're going to need are some redstone lamps which actually works perfect for this build as the lights are they look almost exactly like the redstone lamp which is pretty cool I'm just going to use a lever for my, my example, and then we're going to need some string and some brown carpet. So first of all, we're coming down to this pool table area. I'm just going to go around this general area, and I'm going to place that redstone lamp like this. But then what I'm going to do is just real quick, I'm going to break my way up here. So that way I can come up on top, and I'm going to place my lever, and that turns that redstone lamp on. Uh, let me get some black stained clay to fill my hole and there's our first light second light we're gonna come to uh, somewhere around this general area we're gonna place that light there and we're, again we're gonna come up we're gonna place our lever on top pretty simple with these two um, let me get my light gray hardened clay to f patch that hole uh, this is just where it gets a little more complicated than those two, but not really. Uh, first of all, we're going to come over here, and we're going to we're gonna think. Yeah, we're going to come right here, and we're going to place our redstone lamp as normal. Now, this is a case where we're not going to put the lever on top, because we actually don't want this to be lit up. Because on the game, this, is, this light's actually not lit up, so we're going to keep it that way. 
and all we're going to do is we're going to place some string um, on each side and then we're just going to place some um, uh, now that I think about it the strings actually going to have to be a level lower so that this works I know you're not able to see what I'm doing here but um, pretty much I'm just going underneath the redstone lamp and I'm placing the string it's honestly really hard for me to see on my game so I can imagine that you guys aren't gonna be able to see this but pretty much brown carpet there brown carpet here here and and here so that creates that lamp slash light and then for the final one we're gonna place it right here we're gonna place it right there like that and we're just gonna we're gonna break our way up because this one is going to be lit up so we're gonna place our lever on top like that patch that hole and then again with the string we are just gonna go underneath and um, we're, we're gonna place the string down and place the brown carpet on top to create our fan so that's all the lights that we need for this interior. One last detail we're going to need for this bar area is we're just going to need a hopper and dropper and we're just going to place our hopper right or our dropper right there and then two hoppers side by side like that. Now the only thing we have to do is really decorate this place. So first of all I'm going to start with some item frames. Uh, keep in mind, like I've said before, it's impossible to get everything exactly the way it is on Grand Theft Auto 5 into Minecraft, especially when it comes to paintings and stuff like that. We're, we're obviously not going to be able to get the paintings that we want on the, the console version at least. So um, you got to bear with me on some of the things that I use. I just put things as placeholders for the aesthetic purposes of it. But we're going to get out an item frame and I'm just going to do a little something like this. These are obviously empty item frames, but they represent that there are pictures. There's a bunch of stuff on this wall, to be honest. And we're also going to place one up here in this top corner. And we're going to place one right here next to this dragon head. And then we're going to get a, we're going to need a painting and up here in this corner above the window. Uh, we're going to need to get that blue clock because there's a clock up in this corner and knowing it, it's going to take forever for me to get the clock because obviously I'm recording so it's just going to be like that towards me. I, I did get I did just get a digital clock but I don't want a digital clock. We want that clock right there. Okay, and on this side, we are going to get the empty item frames, and I'm just going to place some like that. Then we're going to come over here, and we're going to place some more, uh, something along the lines of like this. And um, another thing we're going to do is we are going to need the painting, and uh, whoa, that was a big painting. There's a specific painting, or really, we're going to get the same painting that we've already had. Uh, it's that painting right there because I don't know it just kind of matches the colors the best and I'm gonna get part of this rid of that part of the wall right there and I'm gonna play some light gray wool um, don't really ask me why look on the game and you'll see why I did what I did that's the best way I can put that and then um, another design aspect that we're gonna do is we're gonna get some blocks of iron and I'm just gonna do a little something like this this is like an air duct that goes across the room, so that's um that that adds some detail to this definitely. Another banner design feature that we're gonna do is again we're gonna get the crafting table so we can do this and just, again get a red banner. Uh, we're gonna place it up here and then we're gonna need some bone mill and pretty much what we're just gonna do is we're gonna do that and um, that's gonna create this uh, unique design I suppose and we're gonna have this hang down like that. And um, that's pretty much all the design features. There's one last thing that I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna fly back to the original build to show you guys this. Uh, this is just extra detail if you wanna do it. Uh, if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to. 
But uh, up front, I've done like it does on the game, and I, it says, uh, whoa, it says, thanks, y'all, come back now, you hear? Um, so that, uh, it, you guys, if you could, you could just look at that and try to duplicate what I did there. I honestly don't even remember how I got the text to move, to like be shifted and stuff like that. I know I did a bunch of spacing and stuff, but that's a little detail that you can do. You can put it right above the door like that, just to add that little bit of detail that matches the game. Alright guys, that finishes the Let's Build on Yellow Jack Inn from Grand Theft Auto 5. It's been pretty fun to make, I know it's taken me a little longer than normal, but we got it done. And that's the building itself, and that, that's another uh, Grand Theft Auto house accomplished. So, uh, make sure to leave in the comments section, what Grand Theft Auto house do you want to see, do you want to see me build next time? Uh, there's definitely a bunch of Grand Theft Auto houses and structures that people generally want to see or know, want tutorials on. So, you know, just let me know. Um, give me some ideas and uh, I'll, there's a good chance I'll probably uh, do that house next. And remember, it does not have to be Grand Theft Auto 5. It can be Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, uh, etc. Grand Theft Auto 4. It can be, I mean, I have all the games, so... Uh, just let me know what house you want to see next, but this has been Wolfstrike 150 and thanks for watching and see you guys later